everyone, it's Kate from The Forward Line. I'm back this week to talk coat sewing patterns. Now the weather has turned, it is chilly outside and I know a lot of us are thinking, should I make a coat this year? So I have rounded up our most popular coat patterns for you to have a look at and think about, give you some inspiration for your next sewing adventure and I'm going to get cracking. So I've got 10 coat patterns to talk you through. The first one is definitely the most popular and then it kind of all jumbled up from there but this is probably our most popular coat pattern of all time. Um, the Sephora coat from Papercut Patterns, this comes in sizes UK 4 to 20. I adore this, this is a really great pattern if you're in the beginner camp and I will tell you why. So if, I, if you have a look at the line drawings you can see there are no fastenings on this jacket great that speeds everything up it's a lovely relaxed fit it's slightly cocoon shaped it's got a dropped um, shoulder so the sleeve is easier to insert the thing the really kind of lovely detail on this jacket is a seam line that go, kind of goes like this at the center front that actually has secret pockets in it um, you can make this in a jacket as well as a kind of coat and I love it it's such a fab pattern you can make this in loads of different fabrics. You can make this in a full on thick wool, perfect for kind of cozying up and wrapping a scarf around you. Or you can make it if you were, you know, if this was springtime, you could definitely make it in a lighter weight fabric as well. And it'd be perfect for spring. So many of the sewing community have made it and loved it. It's such a fab pattern. So that one is definitely worth having a look at if you haven't come across it or you've been thinking about it for a while and you're unsure, I would definitely, go for it, I think it's a fab one. Next up we've got the Hunter Coat from Five Mood. This to me is your classic winter coat, I love it. It's lovely and long, it's kind of all the way down to your ankle, you can see it's a tailored jacket. So in terms of the making, and I will say Fiber Mood as a company, their um, instructions are probably less detailed than some of the other pattern companies, so I would recommend that this is definitely more in the sort of um, medium to advanced making category. This comes in sizes a UK 6 to 30. It's double breasted. If I show you the seam lines I think you'll get a real clear view of how it looks. Buttons down the front, um, pockets, it's got, it's got really lovely tailoring details, a two-piece sleeve. It's ever so slightly from the line drawing cocoon shaped, although when I actually see it on the model it doesn't look like that. So I hope that it's just, I think it could just be the line drawing. I'm terribly sorry if you can hear some drilling. That's my next door neighbour who obviously has decided to start <laughs> drilling as soon as I start filming. Hopefully you can't hear it too much. But um, yeah, this is a really fantastic pattern. So gorgeous. And I have to say, this style will never, the shape will sort of never go out of style. It's such a classic one. So I'd really definitely, if you're thinking tailored, Go and have a look at this one because it's lovely. Next up we've got the Cambria Duster Coat from Friday Pattern Company. This comes in sizes 6 to 28. Now I will say this is probably slightly more in, in the sort of lighter weight, definitely in the lighter weight category um, and it could even just be worn in springtime but it has been so popular. Um, I love duster coats because they're really nice relaxed fit and this one is a really interesting shape. So if I show you the line drawing, you'll get an idea. I mean, it's got quite a lot of detail going on. It's got this big sort of collar kind of, that comes almost down to the waist. Um, it, it, there are no fastenings on it, which is great. Ties at the front, um, big pockets. It's got these splits at the side as well, which I think are really nice. So it kind of adds more movement into the jacket. So you'd want to make this in something lighter weight and it's unlined as well so something with a bit of drape you could you could make this in a lightweight suiting but I think you could also make it in if you were if you live somewhere warmer um in a linen or something like that it would look amazing so this is such a great pattern and yeah I love all the details on it next up we've got the Diana dress and coat from Lenoline patterns this comes in sizes 6 to 8 8 to 18 sorry um, I love this. This is almost like a kind of, well, it's a shacket, a jacket mixed with a shirt. It's gorgeous. The shape of it is really popular. It was really popular in the, on the high street last year and it's definitely filtered through again this winter. 
so it's something that you'd get a lot of wear out of. I like the idea that you could also wear it almost like as a cardigan in the house if you didn't want to, if you know, if you weren't wearing it as a coat. So it almost looks, if I show you the line drawing, almost like a shirt. So it's got a nice big collar, buttons all the way down the front, patch pockets on the bust. I think the most interesting detail is this sort of curved hemline and if I show you it from the side it's slightly longer at the back than it is at the front and it's got that lovely swoop in it which I think gives it a really kind of expensive look. Um, it's also got um, pockets as well so which is great in side seams which are really lovely and easy to put in. It's just a good all-rounder I think you could get a lot of wear out of this coat I think it's a great one. So next up we've got the Sienna Maker jacket from Closet Core Patterns. Again this one might fall slightly into the lighter weight but I think it depends on what fabric that you choose to make but it's been so popular and people love it. Um, let me show you the line drawing because you can. there's loads and loads of detail on this pattern. I will say there's just there's a lot going on. So there are two options in terms of length. You can either go for a sort of mid mid thigh longer length or you can go for a shorter which ends just sort of uh, probably just above your hips um, details on it are it's got this very interesting wrap around detail around the waist um, that kind of ties at the side patch pockets um, you can choose between how it the fastenings on it, the two kind of longer variations you can pick between different fastenings. So you can either have this wrap that kind of goes through the jacket or you can choose not to. A two-piece sleeve, um, a proper collar. The shorter version has got this really interesting sleeve with a button on it. It, it kind of feels like a workwear jacket. I mean there is just a lot going on in this pattern. If you haven't made this, I'm pretty sure they've done a um, sew along for this, so it's definitely worth going and having a look because I think that would really make quite a big difference to helping you. Lots of top stitching as well, so it's quite an evolved make this one, but it's freaking great and so many of you guys have made it and loved it. I think it's fab, so go and have a look. The next one we've got is almost like a bit of a cheat. It's the Dawson's Coatigan from the Thrifty Stitcher. This comes in sizes 6 to 22 and I only say it's a cheat because it's a coatigan rather than a coat but it's been so popular. So for anyone who doesn't know, a coatigan is a mixture between a coat and a cardigan. So a little bit like the Diana shirt I was talking, well the Diana coat I was talking about, I think this falls into that category. It can be a coat if you want it to or it can be a cardigan. Um, it's got really interesting seam lines, so if I show you the line drawing you'll get an idea of what's going on here. So it's got princess seams that kind of come back round and create the pocket. So I think, again, in terms of fitting this, it's great. You can get a bit more fit around the bust, which is really fantastic. Um, it's got a nice detail on the sleeve as well, if I kind of show you. It's got a little kind of um, pleat on the sleeve. It's a really simple one in terms of the construction. I think you can make this in a jersey or you can make it in a wool. It's just great and it's it's unlined as well, which means, again, adds to the kind of speed of making this. So it's a really good all-round pattern and I think, I, I'm, I'm not, I was surprised that this one was in there, but actually when I started looking at it, you guys, I can see why you guys loved it so much because it's a really interesting shape. Next up, this one's quite an old one, but I love this and it's so always been really popular. It's the Rigger Coat from Ori Juice. This comes in sizes 6 to 16. Um, it almost feels like a, it's a coat mixed, well, it, no, I'm not going to say that. I was going to say mixed with a dressing gown, because that's not, but that's not what it looks like at all. Um, I really like this because actually this is a really simple construction on this for a coat. So. If I show you the line drawings, it's got this lovely mandarin sort of high kind of collar, no fastenings. The fastenings come from a belt and from this you kind of use a belt. You, you could make one out of the same fabric, but you could use a belt that you already own. Um, it's got this panel at the centre back where the belt goes through and kind of wraps at the front. Patch pockets, dropped sleeve. It's really great coat actually. I've used their patterns before, they're really fantastic actually. The instructions are really good and I really would recommend. And I think the shape is really popular and loads of you guys have made it so and loved it and I can totally see why.
Next up, I've got a cult classic from the sewing community, the Tamarack jacket from Grain Line Studio. I love this so much. Um, it has been made so many times and in so many ways with so many interesting details. So it's kind of like a quilted jacket. Again, this could be something you wore as a coat, but you could wear this as a sort of house coat or cardigan. Um, it's gorgeous. So the cool thing about this, if you haven't come across it before, is that you quilt the fabric yourself. So you can buy whatever you like and you can quilt it however you like as well. So I've seen really amazing things where people have actually done pat almost patchwork quilting on the back or used all their scraps of fabric and made it into um, like a quilt top and then cut the pattern pieces out. You can get so creative with this. There are um, poppers down the front, there are um, pockets in it. If I show you the line drawing, you'll get an idea of where they are. So the pockets kind of sit just kind of up, just below your waist. It's got a lovely curved seam at the bottom. Actually really simple in terms of the construction. The thing that takes the time is doing the quilting. But if you were just using a plain fabric, actually it wouldn't take you too long. Um, it is just, it's such a great pattern, honestly, I just love it. And the quilting as well means it was really cosy. And you could, if you wanted to, add kind of double the amount of quilting that they suggest if you wanted to make it really kind of thick and cosy to wear in the winter. So that one is a winner from me. The next one we've got is the Kelly Anoran Anorak from Closet Core Patterns. This comes in sizes 6 to 20. Another absolute kind of sewing community classic uh, that everyone loves. So many people have made this. So I'm going to show you the line drawing. Again this is a more involved made. There is a lot a lot of details going on on this jacket. Um, I would say if you're going to make something like a jacket or a coat, make it in stages, spread it out over a few months, make it so that it's enjoyable rather than trying to bash it out as quickly as possible that always ends up in disaster, especially with something like this where there's lots of top stitching detail, just spend a bit of time and take your time and you'll enjoy it so much more. So sizing wise, it comes in a UK six to 20. Um, so let me talk through the jacket. As you can see, it's like a, your classic anorak shape, three piece hood, storm flap at the back. There's a channel sewn through the middle of the jacket so that you can add, um, a drawstring if you want it to. There's also an option to leave that off. If you don't like hoods, there's also a kind of funnel neck option on this pattern. Um, I really like the double pockets, the kind of storm flap, no, not storm flap, but the kind of double, you know what I mean. The double pockets are really interesting. Two-piece sleeve, it's just great. There's just a lot going on. I will say that I would really recommend twirling this before embarking on it. And lots of shops, fabric shops, do um, kits for this so to get all the hardware because that can often be the hardest bit actually finding the kind of fabric and hardware. Um, but there are fabric shops that if you look for kind of Kelly Anorak kits, quite often they'll come with all the poppers and the drawstring and all the other kind of bits that you need. So definitely worth having a look for those if you, because sourcing that can take quite a long time. But yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous jacket. So last but definitely not least, um, this is, we've got the unisex Ilford jacket from Friday Pattern Company. This comes in sizes da, 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 6 to 34. There are two options for this. So there's a long version and a short version. The short version is very similar to a, what I would call a classic French workwear jacket. Um, Again, this is probably more in the lightweight territory, but it was so popular I just couldn't not put it in. Um, patch pockets, proper kind of buttons down the front, proper cuff on it. This is for the workwear version. The longer one is much more relaxed. It almost looks like a shirt, proper collar, button all the way down the front, patch pockets. It's all much looser fitting. And you can see actually from the model, they've made it almost in a, vis in a kind of viscose fabric. So super lightweight. And it means that you can wear it almost as a top rather than a jacket but there are loads of options with this and you you can pick different fabrics and you know make it really make it your own so it's another one that has been hugely popular I think I also I really enjoy the fact that it's unisex so it means that you can make it for yourself you can make it for your friend or family or partner or father or whoever or brother whatever you wanted to so there's lots of options with this one 
Right, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that has inspired you to sew something cosy this winter. And um, we'll be back soon with another video. Bye.